Hi, thank you for being here. And this video will show you how to easily personalize your bag, your painted bag. So today I'm going to show you three bags that I painted, Aldo, Jones New York, and Steve Madden. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, I'm going to uh, greet my aunt a happy, happy birthday. Um, because it's her birthday on April 2nd, I decided to paint the bag for her. Um, I'm not sure if she likes painted bags, but I just painted her a bag anyway. And this is it. I painted her an Aldo bag. And this is the one I painted at the back. So these are peonies and I showed it to her and she did not like it. She said that <laughs> the flower is too big. Flower is too big. So um, she had to choose another bag that I had to paint. And I'm going to show you the picture of that when I do my video edit. But I have a really big, it's not like a tote bag. It's like, you know, bags that you bring to groceries. And and so I just painted her a very small flower and a small butterfly with her initials on it. So I personalized her bag um, with her initials. So anyway, so yeah, she didn't like this bag. She said that the flowers are so big, which I think they are. But they're not looking too bad. So yeah, this is an Aldo bag. It's like a, it's a really nice bag too. It's like an Alma bag. And um, very spacious. I just have those papers, you know, to keep it like it's warm. So yeah, so I, I offered her several bags. And the one that she chose was, um, it's a Jones New York signature. It's a black bag, and um, yeah, she said she likes it. Madden tan bag, and she also wanted a butterfly and a flower on it. So I, again, I'm gonna show you the pictures of those and um, a little bit on you know how I painted it. So yeah, and uh, so again, these are the brushes that I use, the paints that I use, like especially if it's like different colors. And I always end it with um, the acrylic leather paint, the Angelus acry acrylic leather paint. Even if I use different colors, like I would use the Master Touch, this one, the Master Touch. Uh, they're a little bit thick. This one's a little bit runny, but they're glossy. And then afterwards, um, I'll also put the picture of the uh, acrylic finisher. And that also helps the paint to be a little glossy. So yeah, pretty much these are the paints that I'm using. And now this is the bag, the picture of the bag that I initially uh, painted for her. And as you can see, like the colors, you know, sometimes I change my mind in the middle. Like I would change the color. So this is the Jones New York Signature. So this is the one that she picked and this is a pretty long bag. It's a uh, long, maybe I would say medium to large bag and that area that I am preparing, that's the only area that I'm going to put the butterfly and the flower. So I just painted it gold because the hardware of this bag is gold. So this is the gem stickers. This is the one that I used for um, the initials. And I um, used the tacky glue so it would be really durable. And um, to match the um, color of the gem stickers, I painted it gold as well. So it will match the um, hardware of the bag. And then now I'm, I started with this um, bag for my cousin. And I also personalized it. I put uh, the letter M there. So that's her name starts with an M. So anyway, so yeah. Um, so it's pretty much 
almost done so what I use here is the acrylic finisher so it just looks like murky like that but when it dries up it's um, just glossy so I just put it down like flat so it will not uh, trickle down like the paint so yeah and it uh, usually I mean the instruction here is uh, to um, keep the paint for at least a week to dry before you apply the acrylic finisher but for me it's just like overnight and I think it's enough it, it's pretty durable so yeah it's the same with the butterfly I would I also applied um, acrylic on it So this is the finished product. It is um, showcased in my little area there with little lights. Uh, we just went and mailed it today. I'm just gonna send them the tracking number. And I just came to realize that um, I don't think it's gonna be easy to uh, send bags to Canada it's very expensive even just an envelope for um, a six days um, mail it cost about $44 so anyway to cut the story short yeah I uh, sent her the bag today and hopefully it will get to her before her birthday but I'm not very sure that that will happen. Anyway, so hope she likes the the bag. It's very simple. And I'm just going to give her another one later on. Probably when I'm painting a little bit better. So yeah. I guess that's it. It's a very short video. And thank you for watching.